Hello there, Facebook world. How is everybody doing? Happy Halloween, first of all. I am staying festive in my happy little holiday elf costume because you are tuned into the gift guru. That's me. Michelle Yarn here. Every week, Tuesday night, I take you through the top 10 gifts for somebody special in your life. And tonight, that special someone is the host or hostess. And you know who they are. It's the person who's always throwing the get-togethers, always hosting family and friends, loves to entertain and have people around and in their home. That is who we're gifting tonight. So whether you're headed to a lot of parties this holiday season or there's someone in your life who you know loves to entertain like that, these gifts will be perfect for them and maybe a little something something for yourself. I mean, there's no reason you can't shop for yourself too. Let's go. We're going to go into the very first of our 10 gifts and I've got my magical Christmas conveyor belt here. Here we go. And we, oh yeah, we're going to start with some beauty gifts and this is from Too Faced and I know you know the brand Too Faced. You guys, this is a national beauty brand, a huge top seller. Did you know HSN has all of the best beauty brands? It's one of my favorite things to buy here at HSN. So this is from Too Faced and you can see it's a super cute little gift kit, specifically called the Under the Kistletoe, that's cute, Melted Lipstick Set. So right off the bat, you guys can see there's four different liquid lipsticks in here. And look, we've got this little doodle over here that I can show you up close. So here's what you get in it. And by the way, um, if you're watching on Facebook, make sure you participate. I want you to say hi. I want to know what you're up to. Ask me your gifting questions, whatever the case may be, because I want to chat with you. And here's what you get in the kit. So first, you get this melted liquid lipstick. Now this one is in the color Chihuahua, and it's a spiced nude. It is so pretty. And you've got this really cool applicator tip, so you get precision application. So you squeeze just a little bit of that out. And I would see if, ooh, look at that. Ooh la la, that is very pretty. So that's the Chihuahua color. Then you also get this melted chocolate liquid lipstick. Now this one, it's called Chocolate Honey and it's this warm caramel shade. It is like the perfect, most beautiful nude color. I know it's kind of hard. Look at how pretty that is, you guys. It is the most, this has cocoa in it. It's packed with antioxidants. Then you also get a melted latex liquid lipstick. This is super high shine, you guys. If you want that really shiny, glossy look, that is what you get with that one. Another beautiful nude color. I'm just messing up our display. And this is melted matte. So if you love the matte look or you've never tried it, this is a good way to go because it goes on so glossy, but then it dries in that beautiful matte color. So it's a whole set that I've made a mess of, the whole thing for $25. Now what hostess wouldn't love that? If it's someone who loves to entertain, they love to look beautiful while they're doing it and having parties, they need to look good. Let's see what you guys are saying here. Angie, hi, it's good to see you. Angie says, so cool. Jill, how are you? She says, I love your costume. Is this the most fun. I didn't know if I was an elf or like a Mrs. Claus and then I was told it's just be an elf. Don't try to do it all. <laughs> Don't try to be Mrs. Claus. I like it too. Thank you, Jill. I think it's a lot of fun. Who else is here? Uh, Pam says, thank Boo for the prizes. I don't know if that was a uh, thank you or you meant to say Boo for Halloween. So happy Halloween. Mary Jane, hello to you. Dave says, nice, this is where I can use the help. What age range do these beauty products work best for? Well, being that it's a hostess gift, it's, you know, mainly the grown-ups. Depends what kind of parties, I don't know. But these are great, like I have a niece who's 10 now, and she's just getting into the makeups. I think because these are nice neutral colors, that this would be great for that age group as well. And it's a good gift because it doesn't break the bank. It's $25, it's in this beautiful little holiday box. So it's very giftable and easy to do. And if you give that to a 10 year old, I don't think their mother would want to punch you in the face for giving their kid makeup because it's a really nice light nude colors and you can make them as sheer or as intense as you want because it's buildable color. It's Too Faced. I mean, it's such a great brand. By the way, we have uh, TS coming up from Too Faced too in a couple of days, so keep an eye out for that. It's a beautiful eyeshadow palette. Let's see what else you guys are saying. And by the way, I do wanna know what is the best 
hostess gift that you've ever gotten. So if you've ever been throwing a party um, and someone came over and brought something that you were like, oh my gosh, this is the best gift ever. I'd love to know what it was. Let's kind of churn out some ideas here. And while we're on that note, what's the best holiday party you've ever been to or thrown? What was it like? What was the theme? Let me know. Shawanda says, waving hi from Maryland. Hi, Shawanda, how are you? How's the weather in Maryland? We're uh, 65 here in Florida, and I got excited and wore boots, but that might be crazy to some others. <laughs> Edna says, hello, hello, Edna. Let's see. Shelly says, oh, I can't see the video. Shelly, just refresh. So you must be hearing us. If it's freezing up, just refresh your page, girl. Trust me, I have issues all the time with the tech but it should pretty simply get started up for you. So anyway, you guys, this is Too Faced. You get four gorgeous colors. These fit really nicely into a purse or a little clutch, especially if it is a hostess who's at a nice party or throwing a nice party and doesn't want to carry a big purse around. This could fit in your pocket or your handbag. And I'll tell you what, if you've never tried a matte color, this is a great set to try because you know right off the bat you're gonna love these three. And matte is something different. You know, it's trending. It's not always easy to do. I'm wearing a matte lip right now it's not this one but it's red kind of out of the box for me but it's it's not drying because I think a lot of times we're scared with matte colors that they'll be drying so it's just a really beautiful kind of deep mulberry shade so it's a nice holiday color without being too out there or crazy so that's what you get with these and these melted lipsticks are amazing because they're super high pigment. They're intense. You don't need tons and tons of layers and they're long wearing. And there's nothing worse when you're at a holiday party than constantly having to reapply because your lipstick is all over your wine glass or whoever you met under the mistletoe. So let's see what you guys are saying. I asked earlier, you know, tell me about a great holiday party that you've been to or one that you've thrown. Tell me what the best hostess gift you've ever gotten was. So think about it, churn it around a little bit, let me know. Kaylee says, I love Too Faced. The melted mattes are my fave. I agree. They're a really great brand. It's a really great product and they're very highly popular. So this is a good one to get because it's a crowd pleaser. Any girls out there, you guys know Too Faced is the jam. All right, I'm gonna let this sit. You guys keep asking me your questions and commenting because I wanna know what's going on in your life. What's happening for Halloween? Are you at home right now? Is the doorbell ringing every two seconds? Are you done trick-or-treating? Let's chat. Okay, gift number two for the hostess. Here we go. Another something pretty. Oh, these are beautiful scarves from Patricia Nash. Let's go over here and I will show them off for you. Now, if you guys don't know, Patricia Nash designs the most beautiful handbags and accessories here at HSN. They're beautiful. It's like a tanned leather, vintage prints. It's that old world charm. And I know that these prints actually match back to her beautiful handbags. So take a look at these. They are rectangular scarves. This is the turquoise. Let me open this up because it's actually a really nice size. They're so soft. And they're a little bit sheer, but this has that beautiful turquoise and just brown and tan print to it. And you've got a little bit of fringe on the ends here. Absolutely beautiful. This one is the black, and this is the tooled print. So this one is the black. So you've got the black, you've got the turquoise, and then this is a different print. We are calling this one the World Traveler Scarf, and it's a multicolor. And then check this out. So it's all different colors, but it's called World Traveler because it's like little postcards and road signs. And you know, Patricia, when she designs these, she is inspired by the travels that she has all around the world. So it's just a really cool, different, unique piece to have. And I don't know, some people are really great at scarves. Like they can do all the different ties and different styles. You can also wear them on your head. You can tie them onto a handbag. I like scarves because they're one size also. So if you're wanting to gift somebody something really nice and for a hostess, this is something that says you're always doing something for everybody else and throwing the parties and hosting all the guests. Here's something just for you. 
It's easy to do a scarf because they're one size, you can pick a beautiful print or a color, and they can start using it right away. Because even in the fall, in the winter, in the spring, there's so many ways to wear and love scarfs. So those are absolutely beautiful. And by the way, you guys, $38. That's a great price point. All right, let's see what you guys are thinking about these. D says, hi, Shelly. Hey, my friends call me that too. I don't know if you're talking to a Shelly or you're calling me Shelly, but you can call me that if you want. D says, the best hostess gift that I've gotten are hand towels because I cook a lot. That's a really, really great gift. Let's see. Tommy says, I asked earlier, what's the best holiday party that you've been to or you've thrown or hosted? Tommy says, best holiday party was Halloween 2010, heroes and villains themed. That's fun. I love a good themed party because it makes people actually participate and have some fun. So thanks for answering that. Pamela says, those are beautiful, the scarves. I need a cheat sheet on how to wear the scarves. That's what I'm saying, Pamela. Sometimes there are people who can just do the craziest things. They get that cute little triangle shape. But you know what that's actually? You could gift someone a scarf and print out, like make a really cute print out with all the different ways to wear it. I would actually really appreciate that if somebody gave me that. But these are just gorgeous. If, I wish you could feel how soft and beautiful they are. And these colors are really nice. This turquoise and brown, that's my favorite. They're, the handbag that matches back to this is absolutely gorgeous. All leather. You guys should definitely check it out. Just search Patricia Nash on hsn.com and you'll see everything. So there's the black and that's the World Traveler Multi. Love it, good gift. Thanks guys. Okay, we're gonna go get gift number three. And while we're at it, think about mistletoe. Who would you like to kiss under the mistletoe if there were no repercussions? We're all friends here. <laughs> Let me know, I'm curious. All right, here we go. Ready, one, two, three. Hostess gift number three for the person who loves to entertain and welcome people into their home. This is something, I'm just gonna bring the whole box, that will make any room in your home smell heavenly, look serene, feel calm and relaxing. You guys have to tell me, do you love using aroma diffusers? Because this one is from Pure Enrichment, and it's a it's the Pure Spa Aroma Diffuser, and it comes with an oil, too. So you, if you're gifting this, They've already got everything they need right away to get started using it. And if you take a look down here at the end of the table, it even comes with the measuring cup. So this one is on. I don't know if you guys, let me see if I put this iPad thing behind here, if you can see. There we go. Look at that. So basically, you put a little bit of water in here, and you put a few drops of your essential oil, whatever kind you like. If you have a special mix of essential oils, Write it right here on Facebook. I'd love to know what you do. I usually do lavender or eucalyptus. And you put a couple drops in, screw this top back on and turn it on. And what happens is it vaporizes that amazing essential oil mixed with the water and you get the most luxurious spa scent. It's not too much, it's not overpowering. This is not like perfume being blown into your room. This is just a mist, a gentle mist vapor. And look at the colors. So you have the option to turn on these LED lights and it's so soothing and it changes colors or you can not have the light and just use that if it's maybe by your bedside. Do you guys use these? Have you seen these before? What kind of blends do you love? I'd like to know. Let's see what you guys are saying. Kaylee says, are there oils and what scents? So it does come with one and I know we have several amazing ones on hsn.com that you can um, search and this one is orange. Ooh, so this is that fresh citrus, they say in the mornings, if you were to use something like this, oh, it's really invigorating. This is like someone took an orange peel and just spritzed it. That's the scent that you get. That's beautiful. Danielle says it looks so relaxing. It is. And you know, as a hostess gift, if you know someone who's kind of zen, maybe they like yoga or they try to make a, a calming space in their house, this is a great gift to give them. Or if you know someone who you wish was a little more zen, that could be a good gift to give as well. So that's kind of the mindset I want you guys to be in as you're thinking about who you're gifting. What are they like or what do they aspire to be like? This is the kind of thing that they could put in a bathroom, the living room, the bedroom, any room of the house. 
and immediately you just have this serene, there's no noise, there's no, you know, water droplets or mist or anything. It's simple to use and it glows and it's beautiful. And every time they use it, they'll think of you. You could even give a little set of the oils along with it. Lauren says, does it make the counter slippery with the oil? It doesn't, Lauren, because this, you just open it up. And it even tells you on the inside the max amount of water. So you use the cup that comes with it, put the water in, and then you're only putting a couple of drops, depending on how strong you want the scent to be. And have fun mixing them up. Like, that's why I asked you guys, do you have a special mix or a blend that you like to use with your diffusers? Because I'd love to know, because they can do so many things from relax you to make you feel invigorated, help you sleep. Deb says, lavender at bedtime is soothing. I agree. And Deb, sometimes I'll, I'll put this in uh, my five-year-old's room and put the lavender in if I want him to just go to sleep just once. <laughs> go to sleep when we tell you to. Um, let's see. Danielle says, a nice couple's gift or family gift. That's, that's a great idea. Yeah, absolutely. One thing that everybody in the home will get to enjoy for sure. Pamela says, for the diffuser, are there seasonal smelling oils? And what I would say, Pam, is yeah, absolutely. If, think about maybe clove. If you were to mix clove with the orange, that would be an amazing scent for sure. I know that there, there's, um, you could do the mint, you know, maybe a mint in a different musky scent like amber to give you that kind of sweet, but I don't know, I keep thinking of like a peppermint patty <laughs> with that mix. Let's see. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Bariento says, Edgar says, what is the cost? Hello, McFly. It's $39.99 for this. So in that, you get the diffuser, you get the cup, and you get the oil. Pardon me. I get a little excited about that. And we do have additional oils, by the way. There's an eight pack. You guys can buy an eight pack. It's on hsn.com. And the item number is 570946. So hsn.com, 570946. It's got sweet orange. There's lavender that Pam mentioned and many more scents. So go there and check that out and do a nice little gift basket for someone. Maybe a bathrobe and some slippers. If you really like them, you're setting up the most amazing spa night. Morgan, hi Morgan, how are you? She says, peppermint patties are my favorite. <laughs> I agree, I do, absolutely. Dee says, um, absolutely Tyler, because Tyler, hi Tyler, asked, is this something an older person could use? Absolutely, and you know what? It doesn't, it doesn't get hot, so there's no heat to worry about. As long as you're using this correctly, all you have to do is plug it in, Tyler. That's it. Water, and again, have fun with your mixes of oils, and let it go. And that's it. And if you want the lights, you can do the changing lights, or you can leave it with no lights. So that is fun. Did anybody answer me about mistletoe yet? Don't be shy, you guys. If you could meet somebody, celebrity or otherwise, under the mistletoe, do a little smooch smooch with no repercussions, who would it be? Just curious. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Gift number four, I believe. Wow, okay, here we go. Yes, this is one of my personal favorites, the Better Brella. This will change your life. And yes, we're gifting others, so it will change the hostess's life as well. This is one of those gifts that's actually practical for every person. So if you have that hard to gift for person on your list, this is an umbrella that essentially is upside down and inside out. Sounds like a rap song, but the reason it is that way, can I just do it here? Can I sit here, Deke, and try this? First of all, there's really cool designs, but watch this. One easy button, just push. So it looks like a standard umbrella, right? No, it's not. The difference is the way it closed. That was really fast, did you see? But you see the shape? It closes down this way. So all of the rain or snow or wetness that's on top falls into these cones. So it's now held in the umbrella instead of falling all over you or your car or the front walkway of your house, all of that uh, moisture just falls right into the umbrella. So then you close it up like this. Again, all the moisture is inside and close it down and you're good to go. And by the way, this one has a light as well on the bottom, but we didn't remove, you know, that little clear strip that's underneath. You untwist this and remove that 
push this and it will light up. So when you're walking at night, you can see puddles. If you're holding it and you need to get your key in the door, you can see it. So cool, it's called the Better Umbrella, and this is actually the compact version, and it comes with the carrying case. So you can slide this right into a bag. This one is $19.95, and I see my elf Marissa here with all the different colors and patterns. This is polka dot. This is the blue one, so on the inside it's blue, and the case as well. This one, I wish I could open all of them for you. This one is your leopard print, which I love a good animal print, lots of people do. If you want that solid black, you can go with that. I think that one has the, uh, might have the polka dots inside. You guys can see on hsn.com. Um, and then again, one button, okay? That's it. And how cute is this one with the flower underneath? And they're wind resistant, like up to 38 miles. How many times have you been walking and your umbrella just blows up in the air and now you're in big trouble? So they're so simple. And the way they close is so cool. So tell me, how much would you love this? Or the person you're gifting who has people over and it's raining and they drip water all throughout the house. It's called the Better Umbrella. It's 19.95 and I'm telling you, it's the last type of umbrella that you will ever buy because nothing will compare to this. Let's see what you guys are saying. Have you seen the Better Umbrella? Do you own it? It's a huge hit. Who would you gift this to? Jill says it's a great stocking stuffer, which I agree. That's a really great idea. Um, let's see. Hi, Chris. Chris Lachivo just joined us. Linda says, love the umbrella and your elf. See, Marissa's got fans, Linda. Danielle says, perfect for my fourth grader so that the metal pieces don't get stuck in her hair. You're just, I've done that before, Danielle. Underneath the wire when you open and close it, that's a great idea. Let's see, Morgan says, what a perfect gift for fellow Floridians. We always need this and you can't go wrong. You're so right. This is why time and time again, the Better Umbrella is on all of our gift lists because it could be the hostess, it could be a parent, a coworker, your uh, fourth grader, doesn't matter. We all need umbrellas. And if you're gonna use one, it's just so cool. And when you get in the car, let's say you're in the car about to close the door, because it closes down like that, it closes right into your door. Because what's worse than that? Waiting until the rain stops to get out of the car. We're getting soaked on your way in and then soaking everything inside your car. It's horrible. All right, who would you guys gift this to? The fourth grader, that was a great suggestion. Hey, Kaylee answered my mistletoe question. I said, who would you kiss under the mistletoe? I would definitely want to kiss Patrick Dempsey, AKA McDreamy, under the mistletoe. That is a good one. Who would I kiss? <laughs> I know, I can't ask these questions and not answer, right? Oh my gosh. Maybe Channing Tatum. I love my husband. Just saying. Uh, <laughs> Jill says, I need this umbrella in my life. You and me both, girl. And Dee says, I love that it's shorter. And that's a good point she made. This is the compact version. We have another version that's like the, the big ums, you know, the big old rainstorms. <laughs> so it's a little more compact. But you saw how big it is. You still get a lot of coverage there. It's just easier to put into a bag. And by the way, you have the wrist thing as well. And it's under $20. I mean, I spent $20 on one of those rickety umbrellas that breaks within, you know, a couple times using it because heaven forbid the wind blows and now I'm Mary Poppins flying away. So let's see what else you guys are saying. Brandy Lachivo says, what am I, chop liver, Michelle? Uh, that's Chris Lachivo's wife. Brandy, hi. I didn't know you were on, so you are not chop liver. Lauren says, got to get it for college students, the umbrella. I like that. Christopher Yarn says, it's your husband. <laughs> Were you watching like five seconds ago when I said who I would kiss under the mistletoe? I said my husband. Um, he says, I need that better umbrella gift, so maybe I'll get it for you. Ruben, hi Ruben, how are you? Cool umbrella, I think my wife would like the leopard print. You know what, ladies love animal print. I love leopard print. So check this out, Ruben, because the cover's leopard print, and then also, the inside of the umbrella. Watch this. I mean, is that stylish or what? I love it. This is a great gift, you guys. Definitely check this one out. Get it on the app, get it on hsn.com. I'm sure we've got the links down below this Facebook Live for you. 
Sorry, I made a huge mess with that one, but one of my favorite gifts. All right, let's keep going. Isn't this fun tonight? It's such a good variety of stuff. All right, let's get my holiday slot machine working. Here we go. Another beauty gift. This is a gift with a purpose, something that will make you feel good. So this is the type of gift, when I tell you the story behind it, that is perfect for that person who's a bit of a philanthropist or likes to do good deeds, believes in good karma, and also likes beautiful things. So check this out. So these are beanies. They're, they're gorgeous, and they're also different. And the company who makes these is called Tibetan Socks. Okay, these are hand knit, hand knit. So this is not coming from a huge factory. This is someone's loving hands putting each and every one of these together. So there's three colors, first of all. That's the orange multi. This is the blue multi. This is my favorite. You've got the light blues and the navies and the whites. Really cute hat. There's even on the inside a little headband part around here. And then this one is the pink multi, so all different colors. This is that feel-good gift, and here's why. Women in Nepal hand make these, and by purchasing these, you are helping to contribute to the charities out there who help them make a living. These are women who can't necessarily access the best education to learn um, you know, math or whatever other skills that they want to learn, but they have a trade and they have these skills. And in the middle of cooking and providing for their families and their children, they have a way to make something, earn a little bit of a living, contribute to the family in doing something that they love. It's a super cool story. You've got to read more about them. It's on our website. If you type in Tibetan socks, you'll see socks and all these different um, types of clothing. And this is the really fun boho beanie. And I love that these are a little bit longer. So when you wear these, these are the ones that kind of hang a little more in the back. Perfect as we move into the winter time. Someone would love to receive this, men or women, absolutely. So I want you guys, tell me what you think. Um, what's your favorite type of winter gear to wear? Do you like the hats? Is it the scarves? Uh, is it boots? I'd love to know that. So let's see what everyone is saying here. Woo, hang on one second. Oh, maybe if I turn it vertically. See, I don't have to be like a tech genius. I just have to show up to the Facebook Live. I don't necessarily have to run it. <laughs> Thank goodness. Well, while we're letting that load, I'm feeling a little bit uh, like giving, feeling in a giving mood, be it that that's the holidays and everything. So I think we're gonna give something away and we're gonna give it to Chris, Chris Lachivo, or Brandy, who is not chopped liver. You guys are married, so it's all the same. His comment was walk on clinic would love to have a few better umbrellas, And I know what that is. You guys look that up if you can. Walk-on Clinic is it's a mobile unit that comes to businesses and does their annual wellness exams. But a better umbrella, that would be smart if it's raining. So Chris, we're gonna send you something special. I can't tell you what it is because it's the holidays and everything, but go ahead and send us a message on Facebook to HSN and we're gonna send you something cool. Let's see what you guys are saying about these hats. Tommy says, my wife and I need snow hats for Buffalo. Burr, I imagine Buffalo is absolutely freezing right now. Jill says, it's already started snowing a little today here. Need to stock up on these. Linda says, I love the hats. Did you mention what kind of yarn they are? Wool, says 100% wool. You're gonna hand wash these, dry them flat. Again, hand knit in Nepal, and it's that skull cap design. You've got that multicolored hand knit wool here. They're nice and soft. I love the stripe pattern. And on the inside, you have a bit of a fleece lining, just so you know. And then, don't let me forget, you get this drawstring pouch that it comes in. So when you're gifting, how beautiful is that? Look, this item is hand knit in the Himalayas. Your purchase supports children in need by sponsoring school lunches and educational materials in partnership with local charities in India, Nepal, and Tibet. Talk about gifting with a purpose, you guys. This is just, and it's $25. Free shipping and handling right now. It's on three flex payments. It's beautiful. Dana says if you have braids, they could fit in the beanie. <laughs> You're right, Dana. I'm glad you thought of that, because you do. You have a little more space with these, and you've got that beautiful stretch. These are gorgeous. If you have a hostess who, you know, people who are 
hostesses, being that's our theme tonight. They're the ones who are outgoing. They like to be around people, look their best, kind of dress up and have fun. Here's some bright, fun colors, and it's a gift that means something. Kaylee says, I love that these have a giving factor. It makes you feel good about shopping. I could not agree more, Kaylee. That is great. So earlier I said, what's your favorite winter gear to wear? Pamela says, I love boots and gloves. I like the boots too, definitely. Morin says, I need all the snow hats when I visit Ohio. No, um, my sister lives in Wisconsin, and let me tell you, when we go to visit, it's like icicles and feet and feet of snow. It's crazy. Let's see, Dana, hi Dana. All right, you guys keep on commenting here. I'm gonna let this build up just a little more because I wanna be able to go back and forth and see what you're saying. Again, I asked earlier, best holiday party you've ever been to or thrown? Let me know, what kind of theme was it? Did something really cool happen? Was there a crazy party foul? Like what made it the best party ever? And happy Halloween, everyone, if you're just tuning in. Hope your trick-or-treating went well. Okay, here we go. We are in gift number probably six of the 10. But who's counting? <laughs> oh man, okay, we talk about the hostess gift. This is the coolest thing ever. Have you heard of the bottle rocket? Bottle rocket wine opener. Everything in this kit, so you get a kit of one, two, three, four items for $24.95, and it's everything a wine lover or an entertainer would need in one kit. So, you get your foil cutter, that's great. You get a pour spout for the wine and it actually aerates the wine as you pour. You also get an air sealer, that's what I'll call it, a vacuum seal, yeah, that makes more sense. So when you're done drinking your wine, you haven't finished the bottle, you can vacuum seal it so it stays fresh longer. And this is the piece de resistance. This is what we call that bottle rocket wine opener. All of these use air, the power of air to help you enjoy your wine, open it, and store it. And by the way, it comes with a bag, and it comes in different colors. So you've got black and gray. This is the copper. There's purple, cherry wood, or red as well. Guess who has the colors? Thank you, girl. Okay, so here's all the colors. I'm gonna show you guys how this works while I have time. Here's your wine. And I asked this um, once before, and I was really surprised by the answers. While we're doing this, what is the most creative thing you have done to open a bottle of wine? What have you done? I've used a fork, I've used a chopstick, I've heard people use shoes. So that's your foil cutter. Watch this, this is so cool, you guys. And I've only done this one time, too. So I'm just letting you know. Okay, so you put it on the top there. You're gonna press it down. I have no leverage because I'm sitting. Of course, short girl problems, here we go. Okay, so you press it in, and then all you're doing is using air. Okay, so I'm just pumping right now, and what's happening is it's pumping air into the bottle. Oh my goodness, it's like champagne in wine form. <laughs> Look at how cool that is. Your cork comes right out. There's no broken bits inside. That's the second time I've ever done that, and it was super easy. So then what you could do is use your pour spout, and then as you pour, it comes out beautifully. First of all, so it's not dripping everywhere, but it actually aerates your wine. Because who has time to put it in a decanter thing? See how often I use them? And let it aerate. What do you guys think about this kit? And when you're done, you use the sealer to seal it up. Gift this to someone in the pouch, all the pieces they need, done. It's totally unique and different and fun. And look at all the cool colors it comes in as well. What do you guys think about this bottle rocket? Okay. <laughs> Wow, I asked the most creative way you've ever opened a bottle of wine. Isaiah says, I used my noggin to open one up and it worked. <laughs> How in the world did you do that? Dave used a counter. This sounds a little, a little crazy. Bill says, that's something I could use, a practical gift. That's what I'm saying, like those are the best gifts. They're fun, unique, and different. They cost $24.95 and they're practical. You'll use it all the time. And if you gift this, whoever uses it will think of you every time they do. And people will ask, where did you get that? Um, Dana says, what is your favorite wine and with what food? Great question. My favorite wine is a red 
like a Pinot Noir with some sort of chocolate. It could be chocolate cheesecake, M&Ms, I don't care. Chocolate, chocolate. Let's see, Jill says we tried with a shoe to open a bottle, it didn't work. <laughs> Bill says a 10 penny nail. How in the world? Evelyn, hi Evelyn. This is a great gift for the in-laws. That is so true. In-laws and also maybe your boss or coworker or someone you don't know that well instead of trying to guess what kind of wine they like, give them something like this that comes in this cute little drawstring velvet pouch. Here are your colors. This is the copper. We have gray, red, black. This is that cherry wood. This is really nice. And the purple. And I hope you got to see it earlier because we only got one bottle of wine, but basically, all you do when the cork is in there and you've got the foil cutter is sit this on top, push it down, and then you just pump. And it pumps air into the wine to just push the cork up. That is so cool. Bill says, I would like a redwood one. That's this one. Thank you. Tommy says, that's a fantastic gift. I think it is too. Jill said, great gift with a bottle of wine for the hostess. So again, when you're thinking in gift basket mode, maybe some cheese, some wine. I mean, this is only $24, so you're not breaking the bank, but it, it's a very robust gift to give a really nice basket with cheese and wine and crackers, chocolate, and the bottle rocket. This is the coolest thing. Have you guys ever seen that before? I hadn't before I came here. I keep discovering all this new stuff. Let's see what else you're saying. Yep, great gift for the hostess. I agree, I agree. All right, you guys, keep the comments coming. I'd love to know what you're up to tonight. How's your holiday shopping coming along? Are you halfway there? Are you just starting with me tonight? That's okay. We're gonna be doing this every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. on Facebook, and it's a different theme every time. But as you can see, the gifts are wide. It's a wide array of gifts. All right, here we go. I love it. That's the sound of giving. Oh my gosh. Okay, talk about another cool gift. This is called the Neg. And I'll tell you, I was just in um, Asheville for the last week and we drove. And we're driving back, my husband's driving, and I'm researching the gifts for this week. And he almost, <laughs> he had to slam on the brakes because I was like, oh my gosh, look at how cool this is. This is called the Neg. So anyone who loves hard boiled eggs, let's say you make deviled eggs during the holidays, you put them on your salads, you eat them throughout the day. This is a good hostess gift because deviled eggs are a staple. But peeling them is always such a pain, right? It sticks, the shell breaks, you take out a chunk of your egg, which nobody wants to do. This is an amazing invention. invention. It's part of our American Dreams program where everyday people come up with amazing ideas. You take this, you put a little bit of water in it, and you put your hard boiled egg inside and put the lid on. So we have one here. All you do is shake it. And what's happening with the engineering of this, with the divots inside, with the pressure, the way the egg is moving around with the water, it's basically loosening up that shell for you. So you just shake it just for a little bit. You open this up and you get a shell that just basically slides right off your egg. And leave it to me to be the one who digs my nail inside, but you know how it is. We have eggs sitting out here for an hour before we start. But essentially what happens is it's that membrane part that always sticks to the egg, right? It's the worst. Look at how this is peeling off in just like a piece. I mean, it's crazy. So you get two of these. These are freezing now. We've had them sitting here for so long, but it still works. I mean, that just shows you. So this is a kit. You get two of them. And all you do is the water, the egg, shake it up, and it just, it like pops out of the shell, which is amazing. So there's no ruining your perfect egg for those deviled eggs, or, you know, it makes the job quicker and easier. So let's see, $29.95 for two of these, and you can pick your color. So there's red, yellow, black, and white. You guys tell me, I'm talking about deviled eggs because that's my, one of my favorite holiday foods at the party. What's your favorite holiday food? Like when you are hosting or you go to a holiday party, what do you beeline it for first? For me, it tends to be deviled eggs. And this is just, the neg is amazing. It's so cool. Would you use this? Oh, and by the way, when it comes to deviled eggs, what's your favorite ingredient to put in there? Because everyone makes them different. A little bit of sriracha will just put it right over the edge. 
Dave says, okay, the neg, best gift idea ever. So smart for fitness buffs. That's a good suggestion, Dave. Anybody you know, I mean, it's a great source of protein. I'd give it to the kids, hard-boiled eggs. I mean, we make a bunch in the beginning of the week and leave them in the fridge. But to be able to peel them that quickly and easily, so I would say for moms, too. But look, it's like all in one piece. The little membrane thingy comes off with it. I think that's just amazing. What would you put in your deviled eggs? What makes the recipe special? Pam says, my daughter is a college student that loves hard-boiled eggs and has so much trouble peeling them. This is the perfect gift for her. I concur. Anything that makes your life easier. And this is one of those gifts, too, for the person who has everything and you think, what can I possibly get them? This is great. It's a, another one of those practical gifts that Dave was talking about earlier with the, I think it was the better, no, it was the wine, the wine, the bottle rocket wine opener. This is one of those. And the woman who created this, it's the coolest story. She's a grandmother who likes to peel hard boiled eggs and always had a problem with it. And so she went to the library where they had a 3D printer with her design and she would print out a prototype, go home and try it. If it didn't work, come up with a new design, go there, print it out again, and bring it home and try it until she got it right. And the rest is history. I think it's amazing. She had done some Kickstarter campaigns that didn't work out, but she didn't let anything get in her way. She put it out in the universe that it was going to work and it did. And look at it now. It's on the gift guru. You've officially made it. <laughs> Let's see. Morgan says, my go-to and specialty holiday dish is always pimento cheese. Yum. Maybe we should fill eggs with pimento cheese. <laughs> Try it, Morgan, I'm curious. Jill says, I love your pimento cheese, Morgan. Let's see, what else? Chris is my husband. Chris Yarn's on there, say hi to him if you want. He's trying to correct me, instead of sriracha, that it's sirasha, which is how I grew up saying it. My mom is Thai, and there's a town in Thailand called sirasha, where they make this hot sauce, and that's just how you say it, but it's been so sriracha -fied that I now say sriracha, so that's that. Kaylee says, my go-to holiday food is a gourmet cheese charcuterie board. Can't go wrong with that, definitely. Keep it coming, guys. What do you love during the holidays? Dana says about the bottle of wine we opened earlier, who's drinking that bottle after this live? <laughs> Maybe me, we'll see. Mindy, hi Mindy, she says, I like to make deviled eggs with wasabi. Ooh, maybe a little bit of bacon in there too. So that's the neg, you guys, holiday price, $29.95. Get that for someone who is always making the appetizers and cooking, the hostess, if you will. Okay, next gift, here we go, one, two, three. If you don't drink wine or your hostess doesn't drink wine often, how about some spirits? These are the coolest glasses. They're called perfect measure, or good measure, sorry, good measure. But basically you get the perfect measure every time of your favorite drink recipes. So these are from Fred and Friends. And they make the coolest, like, whimsical, fun, unique gifts ever. So take a look. So every glass features a different type of liquor. So there's whiskey, there's vodka, just depends what they like. There's rum, tequila. Ooh. Tell me what kind of experience you've had with tequila. There's gin, whiskey, and vodka. Okay, so this has a piece of paper in it, but the reason is to show you what's on the glass. So take a look at this one. So this is your rum glass. First of all, you've got all of the measurements you might need. Then you have eight different recipes featuring that type of liquor. So mojito, Mai Tai, Cuba Libre, the zombie. It's Halloween, what's the zombie? Light rum, dark rum, apricot brandy, lime juice, grenadine, wow. Dark and stormy, daiquiri, and pina colada. So what you do is these are your actual instructions. So let's say you wanted to do the dark and stormy. You start from the top and go down. Fill your glass with ice, do that. Add four parts ginger beer, float one part dark rum on top, garnish with lime, sip on the yacht. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So every single recipe, I'll take this out so you can see what the glass looks like. Every single recipe is there with all the measurements you need. So that's the rum. This one has a gimlet on it. 
Tell me, guys, what is your favorite mixed drink? What do you love? What's your go-to? So we've got Tom Collins, gin and tonic. This is your gin glass. Martini. You get the idea, but all of your instructions, you start from the top and go down to the bottom. And by the time you're at the bottom, you're the perfect drink. That's your gin. Check out tequila. Tequila Sunrise. Palm Blanco. Bloody Maria. Oh, that's different. La Pinata. Margarita, of course. Paloma. El Diablo. And Tequila Sunrise. So that's your tequila. I'm just showing you all the different options. So just one glass is $9.95, a gift under $10. That's amazing. This has your, this is whiskey. So your hot toddy, mint julep, spiked lemonade, old fashioned Manhattan, whiskey sour, gold rush. You guys, is this so fun? You get some of those little mini liquor bottles that maybe put them inside the cup as a gift or get one of each type of liquor. I'm trying to hurry because I want to read your comments on this. And then, oh, well, this is white writing. But you have Cosmopolitan, Moscow Mule, Screwdriver. This is your vodka glass. White Russian. Those are good. Sex on the Beach, Cape Cod, Kamikaze. And again, you have all of your measurements along the side here. I love this. $9.95 for this. This would make the best little gift basket. So tell me, guys, what is your favorite mixed drink? Dave loves a good old-fashioned. Those are good. Chris says, genius idea for anybody that likes to mix drinks. No books, just all the info on a glass. Such a good point. And at a party, you could have all the fix-ins out and let your guests take their glass and pick what drink they want and be their own mixologist. That's why that's a great hostess gift. Evelyn says her favorite drink is margaritas and mojitos. A little bit of both. My mixed drink, I like, um, I love mudslides because it's like a milkshake with benefits. That's one of my favorites. Linda says, we need those glasses with recipes for all the various milks for kids and adults. True, you could still do the juices and whatnot and leave out the, the fun part. <laughs> Evelyn says, perfect to make a bunch of different drinks correctly. Hashtag new bartender. That's right. And you're so right. I would love to be that mixologist who can just make you anything you want, but who really knows how to do that without running to the internet or a book to flip through pages? So all of it is right there on the glass. These are our, these are big, 16 ounce pint glasses. So you just pick, you know, is it whiskey? Is it rum? Is it vodka? Is it tequila? What am I leaving out? I don't remember. I don't know. Rum, oh, gin, the one that's in my hand. Gin, pick, pick your poison. $9.95, I love this gift idea. And then mix it, maybe pick one of these drinks if they have a signature drink and get the ingredients for it and put them all together. That is so much fun. I can't believe it's under $10. D says, I have a glass similar with a Bloody Mary recipe. That's cool. But D, if you wanna get eight of them, try one of these. And Chris says, I'm making a drink right now. I am not finishing that comment. That's my husband. You can read the comments and find that. Trying to get me in trouble. I blame it on not having these glasses if I make a horrible drink. It's yada, 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 kind of what he said. <laughs> you guys check it out and harass him for me since I'm working and I can't do it right now. Okay, here's our next gift. You ready? One, two, three. We got it. Okay, we're gifting the hostess tonight. So this is another super cool gift for the home. So this is something to make them an even more interesting person. They're already the hostess who's got a great home or a happy home, a good vibe, always has people over and an entertaining. We'll check this out. This is a Himalayan salt rock lamp and this is genuine pink Himalayan salt. I'm not recommending this, but I've heard, because it's salt, if you, if you tasted that, it would taste like salt. I don't recommend that, I'm just saying. It's actual hand-carved Himalayan salt. It's made from hand-carved salt crystals, and they're imported from the Himalayan mountains. And then the base is neem wood. So look at, first of all, it's a beautiful pink glow. It's almost like an ember. What a beautiful ambiance that would make in anyone's home. It's kind of hard to tell on this screen because it's so bright in here, but it's a beautiful pink glow. But if you look up online the benefits of Himalayan salt lamps, you will see so many amazing things that people have said about these because they can do everything from 
they've been said to clean and purify the air, to help with allergies, to create that zen vibe. And this is not a light lamp. I mean, this is a chunk of Himalayan salt. And we don't have a million of these at HSN because it's actual, like it's a resource that has to be hand carved and put together. And inside you have the bulb, there's a really long cord and it's one little switch right here. So if you know someone who, again, is that Zen person, maybe they're into wellness, maybe they like to create that calming, serene environment in their home, not only is this beautiful, but go ahead, do yourself a favor and look up the amazing benefits of Himalayan salt lamps. These are really popular right now, but you've seen these before. Like, I've seen these in spas and different um, wellness areas where they really wanna keep the air clean and fresh and pure smelling. It's hard to explain. Let's see, Dave says, I'm so happy you're telling us about these lamps. Everyone says they're so amazing. They really are. And typically they're super expensive and hard to get, especially if they're legitimate Himalayan salt. And these, this is $32. And by the way, our shipping and handling on that is $5.95. This is not light. You know, this is a substantial piece. I think that's really great when you can get good deals on the shipping for something substantial like this. It's so different too. That's a conversation piece right there. Linda says, good to know info on the lamps. Absolutely. It's one of those really cool, unique gift ideas. And when we're talking about gifting the hostess, it doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna bring this to a party to give to the hostess. It also means who's the hostess that you know in your life. We've all got that person. It's my Aunt Terry who throws all the parties, has the most fun with it, everyone's always welcome. Those are the people we're gifting tonight. So something like this that's unique and makes their home beautiful and different, that's something that they will remember. So you guys tell me, who's the party person in your life? Who throws the best parties all the time? Where's the party house? I wanna know. And while we wait on that, I think I wanna give something away again. What do you guys think? You ready? We are going to give Linda Thomas Burroughs. Linda, thank you for joining us. You are gonna get something special. It's our holiday gift to you. So all you have to do, congratulations, by the way. You guys tell her congratulations. You're already on HSN's Facebook page. Shoot them a message. Say, I'm the winner, the gift guru chose me, and we are gonna send you something amazing and fun for the holidays. Let's see. Pam says, I bet these lamps help you relax. I agree. It's a really pretty fiery pink glow to these. Do you guys cook with Himalayan salts? Also, you're clearly not gonna cook with these, but that's all the benefits of that Himalayan pink salt. It tastes great, it's good for your body, and this is just a beautiful lamp to really feel serene and zen and kind of just make your home a better place to be. Bernice says, I want to try this. I think you should. This is one of those really cool items that you can't just find everywhere. And as I said, if you're doing the research online about them, you will see time and time again, all of the people who are huge fans of these. Try it out, why not? Bernice, go for it. I think you'll really like it, you really will. Chris says, congrats, Linda. Yeah, Linda says I'm the winner. <laughs> Congratulations. Let's see. Kaylee, I asked who's the party person in your life. Kaylee says the party person is me, duh. <laughs> Kaylee, I want to come party with you then. Let's see, who else, who else? Everybody's saying hi. You guys are so friendly. Isn't this fun? So the gift guru, the whole point is I want to talk to you. I want to give you gifting advice. Ask me your questions. Is there someone on your list right now who you don't know what to get them? Tell me who they are and maybe we can come up with something together. Do you have a question about our gifts? Um, do you wanna know just a general category of what to get someone? Ask me. They dubbed me the gift guru, so I would love to help you out and make this holiday shopping a little less stressful. So just write on here. And by the way, Kim says, real quick, are they all different? They are, because they're hand carved, Kim. So everyone, like you can see even these are different. It's because they're totally unique. This one's not on, obviously. This one has that beautiful glow, but they are. They're all totally unique and different. All right, let's see our very last gift. This flies by. Gift number 10 for the host or hostess in your life or yourself. You're gonna want this one. Check this out. Yay! Any girl knows 
and type it in if you agree with me, that two things that happen to us are, we love to look in the mirror and our phones are always dead. Why is that? Do you agree with me? This solves both of those problems. It is such a fun gift. It is under $20. I love it. This is called the InstaCharge and it is a portable, first of all, cute pouch, portable compact mirror, which in and of itself is really cool, okay? But it lights up for one thing, so you can see that. And it charges your devices. You guys, how amazing is that? So you can have, and by the way, there's a magnified side and a regular side. I've got the light turned on right now. Let's see if we can say hi to Deke. Ooh, wait, there he is. Hi, Deke. <laughs> really cool. So it lights up. There's a little button on the side that you push. And then look over here. You've got all your ports and it comes with the cord. Android or iPhone, doesn't matter. You've got both types. There's your iPhone or your iDevice, iPad, whatever the case is, and your Android. By the way, which is better to you, iPhone or Android? I'm an Android person. And then this side, you just plug it in, okay? And then you take this end and you plug it into your device and now you're charging. So if your cell phone is dying, if your iPad is starting to go, you plug it in and you're set. And again, you've got both types. You've got a mirror that you can actually use. And then when you wanna charge the actual device, you just switch it up. So you plug in this side here, and then you plug this part into any of those, um, what's the, I'm losing myself, USB. <laughs> Have I been talking to myself for an hour? Yes, the USB side into a wall unit, which we all have a million of those for every device you get, it seems like. How cool is that? And it comes in so many colors, by the way. So this is your rose gold. So it's that really pretty rose gold. It comes with the pouch. I think Marissa has our other colors. Come on in, my fun, beautiful little elf. This is the gold gold. How are you? Good, you how are so you? You look so cute, like Thank always. You. This is the black. There's purple. And there's red or pink, red. So all of these light up, double mag magnification, regular, light up, charge your devices. I think this is awesome. Put this in your purse. And when your phone starts to die, like always, you've got an easy way to charge it up. What do you guys think of this? Ashley, hi Ashley. She says, I need this in all caps. Ashley, you can get it for yourself and gift it to someone else too. It's, it's under 20 bucks, that's amazing. Dave says, phone battery is the greatest gift when you really need it. I could not agree more. Angie says, this is a great gift for someone who loves to travel. That's a great idea because you're always busy and on the go. Just keep this charged, check if there's food in your teeth, and charge your devices. Jordan says, this is one of those, I wish I had thought of that kind of things. Absolutely. It's so unique, a good adult or teenage stocking stuffer. Yes, I absolutely agree. Jordan, good thinking. Jill says, I want to give this to all of my girlfriends. And that's something you can do. It's a fun gift under 20 bucks. Pick a different color. And I'll show you guys, again, it comes with the cord you need, iPhone or Android. It lights up, cool colors. And then it comes in this really fun pouch. So this is one of those, don't know what to get her. Super practical. Everybody will absolutely use this. Let's see. Oh, I have a question. So I talked about checking if there's food in your teeth. This has nothing to do with this, but if, some, if you're with someone and they have food in their teeth, would you tell them or not? I think a good friend would, but some people say, no, don't do it. <laughs> tell me what you would do. Linda says, mirror phone charger are both great and much needed at important times. I agree. You guys are giving me great ideas for who to gift these to. I said host or hostess, but teenagers, girlfriends, again, coworkers, if you have one of those white elephant parties, um, this is one of those gifts everybody would want. And I love that it's under 20 bucks. Let's see what else. So you've got the mirror and the magnification, which is fun. Oh, and you can check the power level on the side here. So when you push this little side button, it lights up so you know where you're at and how much uh, charge you have left in here. So that is super fun. That's the lights I was talking about. And these are all of the different colors. You guys, 
I've had so much fun with you. This is the Gift Guru. I'm going to be back here again next Tuesday at 8 p.m. So it's every week. I'm here for you to answer your gifting questions, to talk to you on Facebook to show you really cool and unique gifts. And guess what we're doing next week? We're doing gifts for the men in your life, the hardest people to shop for, the guys, the whole show. So make sure you tune in next Tuesday at 8 p.m. I love you guys. Happy Halloween. I'll see you next week.